Hi, I want to talk about Volt in GitLab today. Volt is an awesome technology to store secrets. It's taking over the world as the default way to store secrets. What makes it really special is that it can rotate those secrets. So instead of handing you back a secret, it will send you back a temporary secret that it can also rotate in case it's compromised. At GitLab, we're big fans of Vault. And so far, we've been talking about Vault integration. But I think we should consider Vault migration instead. GitLab stores a lot of secrets. For example, you can attach your Kubernetes clusters in GitLab, which, which means that those credentials that are stored in uh, the GitLab database encrypted currently today are super valuable. I think it's really important to protect those secrets well. Suppose someone is able to hack their GitLab's Rails application. Luckily, we had never had a zero day out in the wild. There has been instances where people had the code to do so, the so-called RC remote code injection or remote code execution. If that is the case today, and they got the encryption key, which is likely because it lives on every application server, they can get all these credentials of all those people using GitLab. That is a really bad scenario. I think it would be responsible of us to migrate all of these secrets into Vault. Now, if you have control of the real server, like a worst case scenario almost, you would still be able to ex extract secrets, but those would be temporary secrets. There would be a quick way to rotate them. And very important, you would have a log of all the secrets that were taken. And it's hard to take all the secrets because there would be rate limiting as well. I think that combination makes it makes us a way better steward of those secrets. Now we gotta ensure that Vault works on .com scale. So we have some homework to do. And we can start with iterations, iterations toward integrating Vault better with our runner, maybe adding it as a in into our Helm chart first. But I think we should have a long-term vision. And I think the long-term vision is just like we have Postgres for long-lived data and Redis for short-lived data, we should ha always have Vault for secrets. Storing them anywhere else might be irresponsible. And if that is the case, the default experience should be better than the integration. So we should optimize for people installing GitLab and having an awesome experience instead for people saying, I'm going to run Vault outside of GitLab. Now, Currently focusing on the integration might be the best thing to do, but we should be very, very careful that we don't make any decisions that make us worse off in the default scenario. We just install GitLab, you get Vault with it, which I think should we, we should consider as our long-term plan. Thanks.